not a painter per se. Uh, he was really on the margin of the various movements that happened in Italy between the 50s to uh, the time of his death in 2009, and it's very content-oriented. So uh, two of the, mo the main concerns for him were dealing with the uh, um, legacy, so to speak, of the Holocaust and fascism in Italy, uh, which is a period, of course, in which he lived since he was born in 1926. Uh, well, in this room, for instance, where you're filming, uh, the work is called How a Thought Can Infe uh, Infest a Room. It's a kind of a rough translation. It's composed of uh, here 36 screens, uh, which is a, a format used over and over over the years. And they are, they are built as those uh, screen painting, white painting. Uh, and they bear a text which is written in uh, Gothic letter, German, and in German. Some of which have mistakes in the spelling, they are voluntary on his part. Um, and they deal with various aspects that interested him. Uh, the image is always suggested that the image is always up to you. So the screens that he designs, and there are three types of screens, one which is inspired by television starting in 1958, about the time when television comes out, uh, the screen which is the technical size screen, and then a sort of more abstracted screen, a kind of a screen with a pocket. These are the three formal uh, elements designed which you find throughout his career. So on this, oftentimes you would apply the word the end, which you used to have at the end of the movies, we don't really have them anymore, or fine, which is the end in Italian. Uh, that's the most he would give you. So very rarely does he put something on the screen, um, but he can also destroy them or um, glue things on them, but they tend to remain abstract. So the thought, I mean the idea, it's like this room again, this idea of a thought that can infest a room, it's kind of material and immaterial. I tried to uh, give a feel uh, which was progressive in the way you read the exhibition, uh, which was uh, showing some of the icon of the work, like the big uh, screen in the entrance, the end, and which, which really finished with the moving image, uh, which you can't really see in the way it's projected, because every time he, he used movies, he projected them onto three-dimensional objects or sculptures. There is one movie that he projected uh, into a bucket which is filled with milk, for example, which we decided not to install this time. So. Uh, I think it walks you through with the various aspects, installations, single objects, etc., um, etc. Et